Hey friends, Nibs again. I'm going to get out and do uh, a little shooting tonight and uh, show you guys uh, another cool gun. I just picked up this one uh, yesterday and uh, wanted to get out and show it to you. Um, so this uh, one here is a, actually it's uh, the very first Beretta uh, open top model that they ever came out with. Uh, this is a Beretta model 1934. <clears throat> and this particular one uh, is actually um, kind of fitting in with my uh, theme that I've been kind of putting together for uh, um, pistols lately with the uh, World War One, World War II uh, vintage uh, pistols. So this one here was made in 1942 and it also has proof marks here and I'll put up a picture so you guys can see it. This is uh, a RE which the RE stands for that this gun was issued to the Italian army uh, during World War II. So uh, very cool, very cool find. Uh, Pick this one up. Uh, like I said I just actually picked it up yesterday. Um, did shoot one mag before I started up and uh, shooting a little to the left but it's uh, grouping pretty well on the paper for, for a little short barrel pistol like it is. Um, one thing that I'm kind of amazed about this is uh, <clears throat> probably the easiest pistol I've ever seen to tear down for uh, field stripping. For <coughs> We've got some uh, officers over to the other range uh, doing some pistol training, so got to bear with the gunfire in the background. But uh, so this one is so easy to field strip, I could, just couldn't believe it. Um, so first thing you do, take your mag out, uh, make sure you're clear, and then uh, so this is the safety uh, lever here. You flip that around to safe, and then you slide the slide back, and that will actually lock in. Uh, to the slide and lock the slide back. Now all you do is you push back on the barrel, kind of tip it and the barrel will come out. And now you uh, kind of pull back on the slide and release that safety lever and the slide will come off. Actually the safety lever will fall out and uh, there's your recoil spring and your slide all uh, field stripped. Um, she took a picture of this this morning. I'll put a picture of the whole thing broken down so you can see it a little bit better. Um, but uh, just in reverse, uh, put your recoil spring back in your slide. Line the slide up on the grooves. You want to make sure that your recoil spring is. Oh, I forgot to put the. Got to put the. Uh, Safety back in first, safety lever. Make sure your recoil spring is lined up. Lock that back again with the uh, safety lever. And then uh, you just slide your barrel back in, uh, back forward. And now you're back ready to uh, work this action again so real easy to work real easy to clean doesn't have a mag safety but it does lock open on a empty chamber so um, this one's the model 1934 which was chambered in 380 they also did have a model 1935 which was chambered in 32 ACP um, <clears throat> I have read online that uh, actually the Germans uh, also did uh, have this as one of their sidearms in uh, during World War II as well, um, but uh, I haven't been able to find anything on this one to give me any inclination that that uh, was a German sidearm. So I believe the I believe what uh, I've been able to figure out is that it uh, is definitely a, an Italian army uh, sidearm, not a, a German army sidearm. So, just got a target sitting out here at about 10 yards. Um, take a couple shots. Uh, I'll just do it from sitting down here so you guys can see me on camera here. Um, I do have a camera running out there to, to show. 
um, and you can see that target to the left already is the one that I shot off camera um, all the rounds are off to the left but uh, still not grouped too bad um, yes you know that one hit right on the junction between the two targets so I don't know why it's pulling so far to the left that one's better That one's a little high, but centered. Got a nice little group going there, just off to the left. Not bad. I think I got one more. Yep, so locked back, safe and open. Um, I got the live footage here with the with the target so really no need to to uh, show you a, a separate video or anything of that so but uh, as you can see my first shot was like right at the junction between the two targets just onto the target i was shooting at but the rest of them are all right there a uh, nice uh, kind of center of mass a little bit to the left but uh, not terrible shots i'm sure with a little bit of uh, practice i could really get this guy going so it does look like looks like this rear sight is driftable and it does look like it's off to the left just a little bit um, so if I wanted to uh, get crazy with it I could probably drift that over to the right just a little bit and and get that group over to the center but uh, I guess just as long as I know to uh, to compensate for that I, I could you know with practice get this thing going pretty good so Anyway, I don't want to make this one a terribly long video, but I just wanted to uh, give you guys the unboxing tour, so to speak, of the uh, the new Beretta. Um, this is actually the first uh, firearm that I own that was made by Beretta. Um, out of all the guns I got, uh, I just have never picked up a Beretta. I've looked at 92 FS's all over the place, but uh, just never really... Uh, felt uh, the urge to uh, pull the trigger on him, so to speak. So anyway, it's a cool little gun and uh, it's a welcome port uh, addition to my uh, collection, uh, World War II vintage. So I really had to get this one. I, I just thought it was uh, too cool to pass up. So you pull the mag out and the slide will drop and then you can drop the hammer. So anyway, hope you liked the video like share and subscribe uh, I really appreciate everybody subscribing to my channel um, getting real close to a thousand subscribers I'm really getting excited about uh, getting up there to that level um, but uh, just having fun doing it and uh, I hope everybody's having fun watching my videos so we'll uh, see you next time have a great day